Hello what's up people, Dr. Wolf is right here and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening and today it's a special one, let's rewind us back, all the way back, before COVID-19, before, before, um, right, right back to 2019 people, before everything was just all hunky-dory and I came back from Japan a few weeks later. This product came out when I went, came back to England and lo and behold me, I finally found one when I was in Japan, randomly in a store, it's a 2018 extra pack. Now these have like some very very strong cards, some cool meta cards from back in 2018. If you guys can see there is like 30 commons, there's a grand total of 54 cards here, there's 2 special cards there, 2 there, 4 there, 6 there, 10 there, so probably that's the supers. They're ultras, they're possibly secrets, probably two ghosts, and then two ultimate or collector rares. I have no idea. I can't read Japanese still, I'm still struggling. But don't you guys worry, I will try and learn it down the line. But let's go ahead and crack this box open. Let me just do this off camera. Uh, yeah. Come on. There we go. Did a good number on that. So you get uh, in, out of um, a whole boost box of these from Japan, you get yourself 15 booster packs. Quite quite reasonable people for how much I've paid for this boost box. I paid around about just a little over a thousand yen. If I'm remembering the vlogs, I might be dead wrong. It might be about 3,000, maybe 4,000 yen, if it is at the, that most. But whew, there's a lot of boost packs here and they're nice and slick as well. They're not like the new material that we now know very well this has like the nice old feeling to be honest but I am excited to open this up this was back when it was the 20 year anniversary not the 25 years that we know now so remember people this is like over five years old people actually it is five years old this product so let's hope we get some very very good good cards here and you do get yourself common so I won't be quick but I, oh nice old jama card uh, there's super heavy samurai is that? Oh nice, that's from a Kyber deck. And oh, you do not guarantee a rare, a, a holographic, so that's going to be interesting. So we get ourselves our first rare right there, which was, um, was a, that was a product from a legendary collection Kyber, which is really old. But you don't guarantee a holo, so the holos are going to be more desirable, as I know. Yes, it's quite a cool card that, to be honest. Ooh. Some of these cards I may not know, so we've got some band reds, that's cool. Uh, FAs. What is that? Is that a Monarch? Is that a Dark World card? I have no idea. If you guys know what these cards are, please let me know, I'd like to know, but we've got another rare there, no holo rares yet. Out of 15 packs though, we're supposed to guarantee at least three holos. I think, I could be dead wrong, I could be less than that, we do not know. So we've got some more FA cards here, Super Heavy Samurais. I do not know if that's a Super Heavy Samurai card, but that's quite cool too, but it's a rare. And to be honest, booster packs back then are so much easier to open up as well. Ah, we got ourselves the Jack-O-Lantern card, that's cute. Whoa! A Shogun head? Cool. Oh, ho, 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 ho. we know this card very well. This is Loop of Destruction, the evolution of Ring of Destruction. Lovely band artwork card there. I'm going to put that to the side because some, probably some people may want that. And wow, the Vandred. Um, level 1 monster. Nice seeing that as a rare. If I remember, that was just a standard common in our English set. So it was a rare back hit back in um, Japan, back in the um, OCG. This is the thing that's quite funny. Um, in Japan, their their rarities for Pacific cars compared to ours is quite crazy. They have themselves an English ver um, an, a common version of Kashitira Fenrir. We have it as either an ultra rare or an ultimate. So don't tell me why, but. 
Dude, cashetera fenua as a common would have been so flipping horrible in the United Kingdom. Think about that, it would get used and abused even more because everybody would have been able to get one. But nowadays you can because they're so hard to pull the um, ultra rares and of course the- Oh, nice, we got ourselves a super rare. This is one of the Cyber Dragon cards, that's nice to know. And we get the FA one, level one, level two, level one monster. But that's cool. I'm not going to put the prices up for the um, Japanese cards because they are hard to price because with, uh, with eBay or any other website that does OCG cards in the United Kingdom are quite different prices. They could be either very expensive or they could be very, very cheap. Now that is a cool ritual monster right there. That is cool as hell. Old Jammer card. Vandreds. That's another Vandred card right there. We've only pulled one holo rare at the minute, people, which is not looking good to be honest out of this booster box. We are hope we do need to get at least three hollows to make this worth our box. More FAs. More FAs. This must be a, a full-on FA booster box here. So possibly you can make a deck out of this if you really wanted to. We've we're like way over halfway now, people, so this is not looking good that we're not getting any holographics yet. More Super Heavy Samurais, FAs, oh nice, we've got the FA Synchro Monster, very strong card as well. I remember people playing with FAs back in the day and they were horrible. A lot of people in this day of age will say they're absolutely trash now. Yes, nowadays they are not very good as they used to be, but boy, back in the day they were dominating the tournaments. Oh! Ultra Rare! Dark Magician! I keep forgetting his name, it's like the Dark Magician Knight. Oh my god, that is amazing! That is cool, we pull ourselves a Dark Magician Ultra Rare, that's actually really really good. And we get this card quite a lot of times in the United Kingdom, but that's, I bet a lot of people were after that card when it first came out in 2018, so... Ooh, that's actually a really good pull, an ultra rare. I think there's only like, how many ultra ultra rares were in this set? Possibly six ultra rares? Or is it no? Yeah, because it'd be 30 commons, 10 rares, 6 supers, 4 ultras, 2 secrets, 2 ghost rares or, or, or um, ultimates. Or starlights. So that's not bad to know. Oh, there's another super rare right there. We got ourselves the, um, is it the King of D or the Lord of D? I keep forgetting it. It's the, one of the Dragon Monsters. Like the Lord of D, uh, one of the new Lord of D versions. There's another one of them rare cards that looks like a Dark World card. That's cool. But nice, we pull ourselves our three holographics, so I cannot complain now. Anything extra is pure gravy, so. Cannot complain, people. I really cannot. So let's see. Is there any other crazy hits? We've got two Super Rares and one Ultra. And there's ourselves another one of them sorcerers. That's cool. So we got three packs left, people, out of this 20 year anniversary. Five years old booster box. A lot of people may be telling me you should have kept this sealed, Dobsy. This thing is worth quite a bit nowadays. Yeah, but I'd like to give you guys something extremely old. Oh, baby! A ultra rare Vandred! Ritual card as well! Two Ultras and two Supers! That I cannot complain! Come on! That is great! Oh, this has been a really good booster box right here. That's pure gravy right there. These last two packs, can we get a holo out of these last two packs? Possibly not, but... Hey, we got ourselves another loop of destruction right there. Oh, super rare! And that's one of the um, boss monsters for the... Uh, for the um, Van Dreads right there. Oh, nice. So that's three supers and two ultras. Very, very good indeed. Final pack of Destiny. Can we end it off with a holo? If we don't, I do not mind. We get ourselves a place of the Looper Destructions. And there we go. That is how it ends, people. I tell you what. Out of a boost box from t from five years ago was really really good to us. We pulled ourselves two ultras and two supers. 
So before we say goodbye people, let's see what we pulled here, as you guys want to know. I'm sure you guys do. So there's the supers. There's the ultras, bang them there. There we go. So here are the rares at the front. So you guys have an idea on what is in this set. There goes the card that I've dropped. Let me pop him back, pop her back, there we go. So you guys have an idea of what is in this set. Mainly FA cards and um, Van Dreads. But tell you truly though, really cool cards. Super rare uh, Cyber Dragon card. A Super rare Van Dread. A Super rare Dr Blue Eyes Right Dragon card. A Dark Magician Ultra. And a Van Dread Ultra. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe if you're new to the channel, people. Remember, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year. If you guys can do it, please subscribe. It helps out a lot. And if you guys do, I'll be shaving every inch of my body completely bald. So please do subscribe. With that being said, the people I'm sleeping will see you guys subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, not bad for an old boost box. Five years old? I'll take that any day. I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!